Hey, what's going on guys, Infamous Beats. Today I'm gonna come at you with a tutorial on a beat that kind of sounds like this uh, MGK Till I Die record produced by Justice League. And uh, this is to give you an idea of what I'm trying to achieve here. One time for the city. My city. Justice League. Bitch up from the land till I die. And uh, actually this time I'm gonna play it a little different than I usually do instead of showing you like the pattern by pattern individually I'm just gonna have all the patterns on this one and then you'll see as I go but this time I'm gonna take a little slightly different approach uh, so yeah alright so let's start with uh, well pattern number one there's only one pattern so this time I'm gonna start off with the, the actual uh, saw at the base of uh, the track which is uh, sounds, which sounds like this this is like the bass melody for the intro and uh, there's this uh, saw lead from the vandalism pack which is actually like a house pack and then um, I've layered on this other sound which is actually Ziglide Ziglide super, from Superstar O which sounds like this this is actually the, the hook synth and uh, it sounds super weird but it's like super nice as well uh, as you can see I've used the ghost channels to get the notes right and uh, as you can previously see from the from the piano roll these are the notes that I've used so I've actually used the portamento so it actually slides from one note to the next and that's why they are like overlapping so instead of being like like a steep step from one to the next it slides over yeah there we go um i've eq'd this in a pretty weird way i've also added like um, some um, kickstart effects it's called and uh this is the kickstart plugin from nicky romero and it actually takes off the the attack this is what it sounds like without it has more like a constant sound to it instead with this it's like more bouncy and it gives a nice feel to it then this is like the basic block it's kind of like a And obviously these are the same notes as the, um, the the hook synth so that it all goes together nicely this is how i've eq'd it i've used the effector on it as well quite a lot of reverb too as well all right so i'm gonna play all these three together to let you hear what kind of the melody sounds like and then i've also added this this is like a, a lower synth another lower synth that i've used as the like the, the lower melody to the beat so this is what the actual melody sounds like all together all right and then with the with the hook synth
takes a little bit of getting used to but it actually sounds pretty nice and then i've added some like effects and other stuff like that so i've added this kind of crash pretty much and then also this uh, th these are the hits that i've added on the same notes as well so i'm gonna play just the hits now you'd expect it here and instead it's just here right on the closure so that it actually creates anticipation for the drop then we have like a normal clap snare chops and I've also added some ayats this part right here is pretty nice it anticipates the drop as well now I'm gonna play it with the whole melody actually I'm gonna play the whole thing just without the the kick and the 808 and uh, let me actually play it like this and also with the chance as well These are the chants, these are what the simple chants are like. And then I've added the kicks and the 808. This is what it sounds, this is what the actual 808 alone sounds like. This is the Rose Trap 808, and this I've uh, EQ'd it as always with a Camel Crusher. I've used the Ultra Fat preset. All right, so this is what it sounds like with the kick as well, and with the claps and the chops. actually play the whole thing now without the nah. all right so with the melody and everything and then I'm gonna cut the kick in as well this is what it sounds like So I've showed you all the different patterns and played them all together. And uh, now this is, uh, I've actually laid the beat out. This is what the layout of the beat looks like. I've added some uh, small automations to some of the stuff like that. And this is what it sounds like all together. I hope you like it. This was like a NGK type beat. I'm, uh, I'm actually released the FLP for this one at uh, 150 comments and 150 likes so as soon as this video reaches that i'm gonna release the the download link for you guys um check it out let me know what you think in the comments subscribe you know what it is i'm out let go
bitch. All right, so as you probably heard in the beat as well, I've uh, forgot to mention this other kick pattern and this other 808 pattern. And uh, this is like a switch up of the first kick and it actually gets way more uh, crowded and like beats a lot faster in this one. This is what it sounds like. As you can see here, it's like on the off beat as well. Uh, it's not at the beginning, but it's on the thirds. And then I've chopped the first the um, the kick right here, as kind of to do like a kick roll. And then the 808, as you probably heard, also has a, a pretty weird effect to it, which is uh, the slide, this upward slide from C sharp five to G sharp six. And the way you do that is you just pretty much mm, click on any note, which is actually off, obviously in key, and then just double click on it and you select slide and what that does is it pretty much creates this pretty nice effect instead of just going like this where you just pretty much just go from one neck and one note to the next with like a, with a step this actually creates a pretty nice effect let me revert back now shit right here or actually right here so it's like way more uh, gradual and nice um so yeah right before the drop so that was the beat i hope you like it as i said earlier subscribe let me know what you think in the comments 150 comments 150 likes i will release the flp i'm out let go